Artie, well, he was everyone's favorite neighbor who warmed the hearts of millions of kids and adults alike just by walking them through his land of make-believe. Stroll down memory lane with me, won't you please? It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. It's a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? It's a neighborly day in this beauty wood. A neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've if Mr. Rogers were alive, he would be celebrating his 80th birthday today. So in honor of that, his production company has named today, Won't You Wear a Sweater Day? And here to tell us all about this is one of the head honchos from his alma mater, Rollins College, Roger Casey. Good morning, Roger. Thanks for having me on the show. Well, absolutely. And I wanted to tell you right off the bat, I tried to find a cardigan in my sweater this morning. I mean, a cardigan sweater <laughs> in my closet this morning. I couldn't find one, but I wore a sweater nonetheless. I'm glad. I'm not a frequent wearer myself, but I have mine in honor of Fred today. Now, you um, are one of the vice presidents at Rollins, which was uh, Fred Rogers' alma mater. You're also an English professor. My parents are both English professors. And uh, just what an enduring legacy legacy this man had and I just think you know he's so irreplaceable wouldn't you say absolutely I think he made everybody feel special generations of Americans know him and the amazing thing about Fred Rogers is that the Mr. Rogers on television was the Fred Rogers you knew in real life that's everything everything that I've ever heard says exactly that and I think you know when you're on television that much and you're speaking that endearingly to children you it's you know you it's a window into your soul he couldn't have faked that is what I'm saying you know, absolutely he had to be that person and he talked to children like they were real people he never talked down to them he right. talked about serious problems and he might have had an innocent sounding voice but he never was naive when it came to dealing with children right now Rollins College just down the street from us here at Full Sail a beautiful school and uh, tell us about when he was a student there what kind of things was he involved in he was a very involved student he graduated in 1951 mm -hmm. he won awards as uh, an academic uh, student and as a music composition student he majored oh, really? in music okay and uh, wrote almost all of the songs that were performed on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. See, I did not know that. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, do you think that, you know, in this day and age, I mean, you know, we have Barney the Purple Dinosaur, which is cute and everything, but it seems like there really hasn't been someone that, ca that came along that could really kind of match what he did on a personal level. Yeah, I think what Fred did in addition to treating children like human beings is that he knew that the imagination was important. And so he took children into the neighborhood of make-believe. He helped them use their imaginations. And they weren't in some kind of fantasy land like on most children's television now. Right. Well, thank you so much. And, of course, uh, for more information on Won't You Wear a Sweater Day, you can head to our website, dailybuzz.tv.